What's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to give a review of HW Marine Mix. I've been using it for about a month now, so we're going to go through what I found out so far and the surprises that it held for me. Okay, so as I said in the opening, this is my review of HW Marine Mix. Um, this salt is 100% synthetic and is lab-grade salt, which means that they have removed 100% of the impurities that you would find in other salt mixes. It is more expensive than the majority of the salts that we use and see today. But when given the chance to work with this salt, I, I jumped at it because I've always wanted to try it. Also, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be narrating this over the video I took when I mixed the salt. Basically, what the, the instructions are is to mix this as we would any other of our salt mixes. It's a half a cup of salt per gallon. A uh, heater is inserted into the RODI water to bring it up to temperature. And uh, a power head is inserted to mix it. Now. The one thing that is different than some other uh, of the salts is right on the label, it indicates that an hour after mixing, this salt is ready to go. Uh, which I usually, you know, in other salts that I've used, that time is greater than this one. So basically within an hour of you mixing this salt, you're ready to put it into the tank and do your water change. Right here is a CJ, an old CJ pump that I have that I use to mix my salt mix with. And I'm going to be using that to uh, mix this batch of salt. The recommended levels on the HW Marine Mix is that when you set your salinity at 1.025, you're going to come out with between 445 and 450 on calcium. Your magnesium is going to be, be is going to be at 1380, and your DKH is going to be at nine. Um, with those numbers in mind, you're going to realize that for high demand tanks, you're going to have to dose to keep on top of your levels. And I was prepared for that. I dose calc washers, so I'm not really concerned about what it is uh, straight out of the out of the bucket. Now you can see here I'm mixing a half a cup. Uh, per gallon uh, that I'm measuring out and you'll find out as the video plays just how quickly this clears up. Now keep an keep eye out for the heater that's on the other side of the tank because them, the, both of these are darker objects and you're going to see just how quickly you're able to start seeing their outline and start seeing them. So this will indicate just how quickly this clears up. Now, to give you a little background on the company itself, the company's name is Wygan, and the it has been around since 1959. It's a family-owned company, and they have dedicated themselves to the development of fish and reef keeping in general. It is one of the first German companies in this field. They offer a complete line of not only salt mixes, but mineral supplements, care products, uh, calcium and magnesium, um, supplements and filter media, media and also have their own line of RODI and UV sterilizers. In researching the company and going to their website and looking around, you'll find evidence that basically they care a lot about this hobby. Not only the hobby itself on our level, but also the commercial uh, end of it. Making salt for not only zoos, but also aquariums, uh, mariculture facilities and coral grow out systems. So there's quite a history that's involved with this company and since it's been around so long and you, there's so much information regarding the salt, it was a really a no-brainer for me to want to try it. Now as far as the salt goes itself, um, it has trace elements that 
is present in tropical marine water. It also has a higher calcium and magnesium, which is needed for coral growth. Through periodic water changes, you can meet the demands for essential elements to ensure healthy growth. But I have found with my water change schedule that calc is needed to keep my levels up to where I need it to for, for my corals health. The mix is designed also to target beneficial growth of coral skeletons and through this, their claims are that corals that reproduce through fragmentation is enhanced and damage to organic tissue will be reduced. Um, again, I've only been running this a month, so as far as their claims on certain things, that remains to be seen, but I can tell you from my experience, I've used other salts and I usually have to turn my skimmer completely off for hours before I can uh, turn it back on or else it will go haywire. Uh, it'll overflow and that'll be, you know, just a total mess. When I use this salt, about a half hour after I put it in, I had to turn my skimmer back on and there was not even a nudge of the foam. So as far as the impurity claim go, goes, I, I trust it. I, the box that you buy from places such as Bulk Reef Supply make up to 160 gallons. So I'll be using this for quite some time. And at the end of this, I plan on uh, resupplying because I am impressed at the response my corals have given to it in the short time I've used it. So the bottom line is, do I trust the salt? to um, do everything it says it will? And I think the answer on this is yes. Now, as you can see the background, I'm moving the pump around to make sure that every area in the bucket is mixed thoroughly and to make sure there's no uh, pockets where the salt will settle out. Usually underneath the pump, you'll get some areas where the salt will settle in. Uh, you know, basically that's been my experience when I mix salt. So doing this, I get everything mixed up. But what you can notice is how quickly the salt is starting to clear up. I'm watching this very carefully and I'm looking at it and that's one of the other reasons why I'm making sure that all the pockets of where the salt could be is getting mixed thoroughly because right here I'm I'm getting a, you know a little impressed about how this is mixing up so clear. You're starting to see right now, you can barely make out the heater on, on the bottom of the, the bucket and the pump itself. So now the question is, is this the salt for me? I will admit that if you go to Bulk Reef Supply, this salt is the second highest uh, as far as price point is on the website. There is another one that comes close to it, but it's a little less expensive and there's another one that's more expensive. But with the background of the, of the salt and how open it is, as far as information is concerned, the box being 160 gallons, I kind of realized that this may be the way for me to go. Uh, the reaction of, in my tank has been spectacular for me. And I feel that as far as the price, it's worth it for me. You can see here that it's getting more and more clear as time goes by. And for me to be able to do my water change an hour after I mix this salt, as long as it's, I get it up to temperature, um, it's well worth it. So is it a silver bullet? No. The salt that we use, you can have success with the cheapest or the most expensive. There's a lot of questions nowadays about what salt should I use, what salt is best for the tanks. That's all up to the way you run your system. So in my opinion, and again, I stress, my opinion is I used to use uh, reef crystals. I've used Red Sea and now I'm trying out the HW and out of the three, um, HW Marine Mix is going to be probably the product that I use from this point on. Uh, I feel comfortable with it. And, and again, it's, it's what you feel comfortable in using. 
I know that as far as dosing is concerned, I'm going to have to dose Kalkwasser. If I was making weekly water changes instead of bi-weekly bi -weekly water changes, then maybe it would be a different story. But that's just how I run my system. Uh, so you may be different. So here we're reaching a little bit over the 10 minute mark in the mixing process. And you can see it's almost clear. There is some haziness to the water, but uh, in 12 minutes, this went from a cloudy mix of water to clear. So as far as the performance of the salt, it did meet what the company has put out. So I do trust it and I'll be using it. Well, that, I don't want to make this a, a big, long video. So that's it for the review. Uh, definitely give it a try if you can. And as always, this is Scott and I'll see you around the reef tank.